Do you ever feel your PowerPoints look a bit tired or they take you hours to create if you're having to make a new lesson? Well, in today's episode, I'll show you how to use Canva to design an engaging, ready to go presentation in minutes. And it uses ready-made templates and a little bit of AI power built in in Canva as well. Hey there, teachers. Welcome to Miss Estric Teach and Tell, the podcast where every week I dive into all the tips and tricks that make teaching life so much easier. Whether you're a veteran educator, an early career teacher, learning the ropes or balancing the classroom with being a busy parent, this will help you streamline your workload and bring a bit more balance to your life. You bring the coffee and I'll bring the teach and tell. Hey everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Teach and Tell the podcast designed to help busy, overworked teachers streamline their workload and reclaim their evenings. I'm your host, Katie Estrick, and each week I share with you practical strategies to save you time and help you focus on what truly matters, which is teaching effectively while keeping your sanity intact. If you do enjoy today's episodes, it would mean so much for me if you could follow the podcast, leave a five-star review, because it really helps more teachers like you find this podcast, learn these tips and help to streamline their workload as well. So let's jump into the main content, talking about Canva for making presentations and specifically the feature that helps you build a full PowerPoint just by describing what you want the lesson to be in four words. So this is how you do it. And if you aren't watching on YouTube, then you might want to carry on listening, but watch later on YouTube because I'm actually going to go through step-by-step visually how to do this while I'm describing it. So you go into Canva, head to new design and select presentation. Then in the design section on the left, you get a search bar pop up and you'll see the option right at the top that says four plus words to describe dot, 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 which basically means whatever your PowerPoint is going to be about, just describe it in four words. So you could type something like I did here, label the heart. You could even say GCC biology, or it might be what is DNA, whatever the topic might be, whether you're a biology teacher, or not and you can try putting in GCSE or A level. I'm not sure if Canva actually understands the difference between those so I've just tested it so far by saying biology label the heart or what is DNA biology lesson but that has still given me a whole range of relevant lessons for that bit of biology but then it also suggested loads of other biology lessons that I might also want to have and what Canva shows you is pre-made templates of lesson PowerPoint and it's normally somewhere between 10 and 15 slides. So it might not be literally enough content for an entire lesson, but what you do get is a title slide, learning objective slide, some information explainer slides, and some built-in activities as well. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can see these right now. I think these are so bright and fun and engaging and would make your PowerPoints look like a bought-in resource and hopefully get your students more engaged and interested in the content as well, just because it's visually more appealing. So the label the heart one would save so much time for GCC biology key stage four. And I also had a look at this one here about DNA. The content worked perfectly for GCC biology for that one as well. And it was bright, it was visual, it was engaging. So you can use these templates as they are for maybe quick activities, but I think the best way to use them is apply all of those pages, So you can click the button that says apply all 12 pages and then tweak them to match what your actual learning objectives are following your scheme of work. Because the chances of it being literally the learning objectives that you wanted for that lesson are very, very low. Might be similar, but identical, unlikely. And then you can always copy some slides and add in more information or copy the slide and add in a new activity until it is bulked out to be big enough for the duration of your lesson and it covers everything you wanted to. So one of the best things about using Canva for making presentations in this way, in my opinion, is the admin side. So the time you might have spent formatting, spacing, picking fonts, color palettes, finding the images, rearranging them so that you've got it as a really nicely presented bit of text and image, that side of things is all done for you. So essentially the admin part is done and then you're just using your professional knowledge of the subject, mark scheme and all of that side of things to tweak the content to make sure it does hit what you need for your lessons. And once you have actually found a layout or a template that you think best meets your students' needs and engages them the best, you can then actually click set up brand 
template. And what that will then do is allow you to save that PowerPoint as a template. So from then on, if you do want to make more PowerPoints for new lessons, you can click that template and forever just edit it for different lessons. But the colors, the formatting will all be there. So it'll stick to the same style. You're just changing the content. Or if you're not bothered about everything being consistent, you can then just have a look in the search bar again for your next lesson. Either way, it's going to look professional and save you hours whenever you need to make a new lesson PowerPoint. Now, another feature that I wanted to talk you through on Canva is their magic media. And this is Canva's built-in AI image and video generator. And what you can do is just type in a few words and it will then create, you pick which of these three options you want, a realistic image, a diagram, or a short video clip. But I'll be honest, I tested this feature for this podcast episode and I've used it in before when I was making images that weren't biology specific and it was pretty good but when I did biology specific images I wanted the results were not great so I wouldn't actually recommend using it for that so for example I typed in I think I said create a beating heart it told me it wasn't allowed to make that because it was um, breaching their policy I don't know what they thought a beating heart was but clearly it triggered something that they thought was inappropriate so they wouldn't make the image for me I also asked it to make an image of arteries and veins it didn't I also asked it to make just an artery it wasn't a good image and I asked it to make a DNA double helix again it wasn't a very good image so I wouldn't recommend using the magic media AI image generator and video generator biology or at least not yet because it's not working at a standard that I think is good enough but you could use Google images or Canva's element section which is their ready-made images is actually really impressive for biological and scientific graphics I've used lots of those in my resources they have lots of practical equipment images, whether it's a photo or a diagram. And also some biological images, they do actually have pretty good GCSE and even A-level standard images. So for now, I think that is the best option. Use either Google images or the elements section of ready-made pictures on Canva if you do want to swap in or add any pictures to your PowerPoints on Canva. So why should you use Canva then rather than just using PowerPoints when you need to make a new lesson? Well, number one, it's fast. You can make a complete lesson deck in minutes, especially if you're using those ready-made templates and just tweaking them. Number two, this is probably one of my favorite reasons. I mean, I've said they're all my favorite, but this is definitely one of my favorites. The visuality, it is visual. It's bright, it's colorful. It's far more high-tech and engaging than any plain PowerPoint I could make where I just have colored boxes and text. You've actually got an engaging visual presentation that hopefully will mean students are going to be more focused. And it is flexible. Once you've created your slides, you can then download your finished presentation as a PowerPoint file. So you can continue to edit what you've created on Canva in PowerPoint if you feel more comfortable and prefer to do the editing that way. And best of all, yes, I think I must just say this is my favorite thing so many times, but this is best of all. It is free for teachers. If you sign up using your school email through Canva for Education, you get all of these features for free, which I actually pay for because I'm not a teacher in school anymore. So I pay for them all because I think they're stacked good. But as a teacher, use your school email. You get all of these features for free. So whether you are revamping an old lesson, starting a new topic, building a fresh scheme of work, give this a go the next time you need to create your lesson slides. It is one of the easiest ways and quickest ways to create engaging, high quality resources without sacrificing hours. So that is it for today's episode of Miss Estrick Teach and Tell. I hope that inspires you to give Canva a go and bring some fresh, engaging energy to your lessons without spending hours designing from scratch. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a review and share this episode with a teacher friend who could use a little presentation magic in their life. That's it for this week. I'll see you next week in the next episode.